Hi and uh, welcome back YouTubers. Um, if you were tuned into my last video you would have seen me demonstrating remote start and remote stop on my Traxxas Revo using a traditional TQ uh, three channel transmitter. Uh, all I did is add a momentary switch uh, to the transmitter to make this all possible. Uh, in my Revo I've got a forward only uh, transmission um, which um, has been put in so this basically frees up uh, the forward and reverse uh, toggle switch for me to be able to uh, do this so today uh, the point of the exercise is just to show how you can take advantage of that third channel so if we have a closer look at the uh, transmitter set up here basically what you've got is you've got your transmitter it's got R on it for run, S for stop. Now, depending on where that toggle is set, will determine whether uh, that momentary switch is going to be used for starting or stopping. I'll just turn on the uh, transmitter here and turn on the truck here. Okay, so at the moment it's set for S. Now, when I push the momentary switch, and I'll do that now, um, you'll notice that the server at the back here pushing it pinches the fuel line and it stops the car if I was to take the uh, camera over here um, when I push the momentary switch again you'll also see the micro servo on top of the um, easy start there is moving away from the button now when I push the toggle switch in to R for run it basically reverses the direction so when I push that button now find at the back the stop system is moving away but at the front uh, where the easy start is pushing the button it is now triggering starter so that's how the momentary switch is used to trigger starter but um, next question is well how do you set up that momentary switch so you can use the toggle switch in this fashion to trigger starting and stopping okay I'll just switch off the uh, transmitter now over here, I've got uh, Traxxas Jato, which basically uh, is set up exactly the same same way. It's got remote start and remote stop. Um, so basically, the mod is exactly the same on this as it is on my Revo. So when you take off the, well, take out the five screws on the back of the uh, transmitter, what you find is a little circuit board um, at the back here. You'll you'll find that there should be a black, uh, a white wire. And in between those two wires, either there, or in my case over here, there will be a grey wire. And what I've done is I've desorted that grey wire, so that's it here. That's it right there. And I desorted it earlier, and it's going to the back here to this momentary switch. There's two points that that wire could be um, sorted, doesn't matter which one you do it. It's been sorted onto the back of that momentary switch, and I've added another cable to the other free port on the back of that switch and that now goes back to the point where I desorted that grey switch or grey grey wire I should say so basically the button is now acting like a breaker and it's an off on switch so basically the toggle switch is de deactivated so what that means is, is that your servo is centre and they stay centred until that button is pushed so if it's set for R for run um, when you push the button, it'll activate it and move in the direction to trigger startup. If it's set to S for stop, when you push the button, it'll move in the direction to stop the vehicle. So that's how you take advantage of a single channel to actually um, do two functions, which is which I think is actually pretty cool. So that's how simple it is. Now when you add the little switch here, and remember, the switch is an off-on button, momentary switch, not an on off so basically power is not going to that circuit board until the button is in not the other way around and um, and the good thing about that button is as soon as you take a finger off the button power is removed so there's no chance of you accidentally forgetting to turn off uh, the easy start or or stopping it as it were so as it recenters so that's the beauty of the setup as well um, yeah so that's basically the mod now when you close it all back up just take care not to close the uh, the wires in um, but yeah basically that's it so desort of the grey wire 
Now, I also have done this on my uh, 2.4 gigahertz transmitter, and from memory, the color of the wire is a different color. I can't remember exactly what it is, but basically, it'll either be that it'll be the middle wire. It'll either be located here or here. You desolder the appropriate wire down here, take another cable back to the same point where you desoldered it, creates that breaker, and you're away laughing. Okay, with that done, you're now ready to set up your servos. Now, another thing to mention is how you actually utilize that third channel. Now, what you're going to need is one of these. And if you get one of my remote start upgrade kits, you'll get one of those in it. And basically, you plug this end into your receiver, and the other end, one of the other ends, is where this micro servo plugs into, and the other free end is what this servo here plugs into for your remote stop. And that's how you manage to duplicate your movements as you saw earlier. So that's basically it. You've got your starter pack here, that's fixed on via Velcro, on and off very easily. Uh, your starter kit here is fixed on via the provided ties, which can be removed as well very quickly. And your plug in here, the easy start plugs, and at the back you've got your remote start, um, or stop I should say, set up. So that's basically it. Um, I hope that uh, makes it a bit easier for you now if you're interested in doing the same mod. Until um, next time, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.